All right, y'all already know all things sports and entertainment. You know, we can completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So Rick Glazier, um, who never really been a fan of uh, PBC, he put out a tweet that he heard that Amazon, now that that's where the PBC fights are mostly going to be, Amazon will be rumored having a second promoter to help promote the fights. Now, I mean, there's multiple people, Eddie Hearn, so on and so forth. I know Eddie Hearn got to deal with his own, but just... There's promoters out there like that, Bob Arum, so on and so forth. Now, a lot of people call Rick Glazier a PBC Al Heyman hater. And I'm going I'm to I'm say this. I'm going to say this. We don't know because there's so many rumors out there. There's rumors that Al Heyman owe Floyd over $100 million. There's rumors out there that the PBC don't really have no money like that. It's uh, Al Heyman's health. At one point, he was, he was gone. Now he's back. But he don't do interviews, so we don't really know what's going on. A lot of these fighters have been inactive for years. What the hell happened to Keith Thurman and uh, so on and so forth, fighters like that? I mean, they might fight once every two years. And this is crazy because the PBC used to be the cream of the crop as far as the in the 2010s. And they even had stuff on, on TV. Y'all remember the fights? Keith Thurman versus, um, I think Danny Garcia was on free TV. Sean Porter versus Adrian Broner was on free TV. They was fighting on Spike and uh, uh, ESPNs and the CBSs. But anyway... Honestly, I mean, look, who cares who's the promoter? I'm not with that whole PBC, the zone. I'm on this side of the street, this record label, that record label, when all of them are technically will be under Universal. This is the, 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 this is where I stand. Can we just get the fights we want to see? We don't want to see Tank Davis fight uh, LeBron Rhodes. We don't want to see uh, Joe Smold versus Joe Blow for $89.99 on Amazon. We're not paying for that. We're not. We're gonna, people are going to get it another kind of way. It don't really matter who is the promoter. But we need to start seeing the good fights. And if Al Heyman is still in charge of the PBC, then you need to figure out how to get David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez. I mean, I know David Benavidez is supposed to have a fight coming up, but Cinco de Mayo coming back up in May, y'all can't get nothing for that. You know, it's like, it, it's weird because it feels like when Al Heyman went inactive, all the other fighters went inactive. And then they really can't say what's going on. But you hear rumors that they're unhappy, but they can't say nothing because they have a, a NDA. So I don't know. But uh, Rick Glazer, who's been around for a long time, um, you know, he keep he keeps attacking the PBC every chance he gets. So I don't know. It could be something personal. But I mean, at the end of the day, as a fan, why would you even care as long as you get the, the, the big time fights? And like I said, Tank Davis versus Lamar Rhodes, whatever, right? I'm not paying for it. A lot of y'all not going to pay for it, you know, but if you go, who cares? I don't care if Eddie Hearn takes over the PBC or Turk al -Sheik. If any of these people take over the PBC, as long as we get the fight, even Al Heyman himself, he can still run as long as, long as we get the fights that we want to see. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.